Well, we're coming back to you again because we do have a new tornado warning for Columbia and Sauk County. You can see the line that's coming through the Dells right now. This is in effect until 945 this evening. You can see the thunderstorm uh, line that we're talking about really has a nice little bow to it. We've been watching this very fast moving uh, system making its way into our area uh, because of that. All around our area, we are looking at uh, severe th thunderstorm warnings in effect. But as you can see, that line right there, we are looking at some uh, pretty gusty winds associated with this going to be 60 miles per hour, as well as we are looking at the possibility of two inch hail or more across much of this area. Uh, while we're doing this, I want to pull up my other machine because we were getting ready for our newscast, but I want to show you what we are expecting here across the area once I show you this area right here. Okay, let's go into our severe weather coverage mode right there, and you can see there we go, right there. This is the area that we're talking about. That coming through the Dells, lots of activity up towards the north, even towards Green Bay. This whole area, for the most part, is under a severe thunderstorm warning, but for Sauk County as well as into um, Columbia County, 945 inches uh, has been in, uh, excuse me, radar indicated as a tornado through this area. I'm going to take off some of that lightning because we have so much lightning here at the moment so that you can see what we are looking at just a little bit better than that. And um, this is going to continue to make its way towards the southeast for the rest of the evening. There you go. We've got some better uh, imagery that we can show you of the system as it makes its way towards the southeast. Now, earlier tonight, we were dealing with a tornado warning down towards Lafayette County. Since then, that system has pushed towards the south, but now in its place, we are now looking at flash flood warnings that are in effect for parts of uh, Lafayette County at the moment. Let's put this into motion for you so that we can get a better look at what is happening at the moment in this region. Give me one second. We're switching over from newscast mode and to back to tornado coverage mode. And here we go. Let's go closer in. This is the area that we are talking about. You can see that very hefty cell right there just entering the tornado warning uh, zone at the moment. I want to plot out some of these cities that could be affected within the path of this storm. And we're going to go to right about there. We are talking about, uh, in four minutes, Delona. I apologize if I uh, spell that or say that incorrectly. Delton, 12 minutes, Baraboo, uh, 25 minutes, uh, Poignette. If you hear your sirens, make sure you go into an interior room or into your basement. These have already proved, these thunderstorms have already proved to be very powerful. We saw that down towards Lafayette County as well. Uh, winds have been very gusty and the hail associated with these storms has been anywhere between one inch, two inches. And in some cases we saw measurements up to over two and a half inches with this. So this is what we are looking at right now. Anywhere around this area is definitely a uh, very, very um, dangerous area to be in. I'm gonna show you some of these uh, other locations. Reedsville, just on the outside of that cone. Reedsville, I would consider you to be in that threat zone as well. New Freedom, Baraboo, Delton. Uh, let's go a little bit closer in. Fairfield as well. We're looking at Fairfield, uh, the Glen over here towards uh, Decorah, I believe that's how you pronounce that, just towards Portage. They saw some very active weather earlier today. They're going to see some more uh, with that thunderstorm warning that is just towards their north. Now, this uh, uh, tornado warning, excuse me, could be issued and pushed more towards the southeast as well. So this is what we're looking at right now, down towards the south. We had been dealing with a lot of activity down here towards parts of Lafayette County, but as you can see, a flash flood warning is now in place for Lafayette County, Greene County, Iowa County, until 1245. Radar has already indicated that we have seen anywhere between one to three inches of rain falling from the previous storms. And now we could be seeing another one to two inches from storms that are gonna be training over that particular area. We're also looking at some very active weather out here towards 
the east. You can see right here across parts of our southeastern counties. We are looking at some thunderstorms moving through Elkhorn at the moment, um, and that's going to continue uh, through the region. One area that hasn't been really been affected yet is the Dane County area, but as you can see, we are looking at some of those watches, uh, some of the warnings just to the northwest that could be pushing into our northwestern part of Dane County. But we're going to be watching this very carefully um, as we go into the next couple of minutes. Let me clear your screen so that you can we can get into. Okay, uh, let's go. We have a live camera ready uh, to take a look at what's happening around that area. Let's take a look right now. Okay, this, this is, okay, this is Columbia County, which you're going to be seeing, the Merrimack uh, South Shore area, um, and as you can see, rain falling. Well, this is hills. just right outside. Okay. We're going to get that for you just for a second. All right. Okay, uh -huh. yes, Kevin. So this, what we're looking at, this is Columbia County. You saw all that lightning on the map that you were talking about. Here it is, Columbia County. We are looking at Merrimack South Shore as that lightning is just lighting up the sky. It really, really amazing, amazing to see. This is a live picture once again here at 9.06 in our um, severe weather coverage here, your first alert station, Columbia County, Merrimack South Shore, Kevin was showing us all that lightning on the map. Here's what it looks like from our camera. Now, with these storms that Kevin is talking about, these, um, these tornado warnings, you need to think about your safe place. Don't be outside looking at this, okay? We have a camera to show you it. You don't need to be out there. Where you need to be is inside, away from windows, away from those upper levels. Go as low as you can if that's a basement, if that's just an interior room on the lowest level, this is where you need to be. This is tornado safety. This is your first alert tornado safety right here. Again, just kind of looking at it as a house. Stay away from the upstairs, downstairs. You don't want to be outside. No place outside is safe from a tornado. We will be continuing to look at these live pictures. If you are in a safe place, I know it is dark outside, but feel free if you are safe to send it to our app or you can send it to NBC15.com. And speaking of apps, it's so important, wherever you are, download our NBC15 First Alert weather app. There you can get your weather alerts straight to your fingertips wherever you are. We have Kevin here, I am here monitoring these storms as they are coming in. We have you covered, Kevin, a lot going on. We have tornado warnings, we have flash flood warnings, just so much to talk about here. What are you seeing now? We have, it's, it's been quite the night. We've had a lot of heat over the last couple of days. That's really been priming the atmosphere. But what I'm gonna show you right now, this is the velocity tracker. We talked about this when we were talking about the Lafayette area tornado warning that was in place. What you're seeing right here is reds, and greens. What that means is when a, when a radar looks out, it sees particles either coming towards it or going away from it. And if you think about the spinning of a tornado, part of that is pushing away from the uh, radar. Part of it is coming towards the radar. You'll get two different colors. When you see those two colors very close to each other, that means in a very short distance, you have outbound and you have inbound. And that means this is the area that we're probably talking about where there is a potential tornado. We're talking just to the north of Excelsior, south of Delton. This particular area right here could be where we are looking at a tornado signature in the area you can see. Um, but again, uh, this has all been radar indicated so far. The sun has already gone down in many locations. We're looking at kind of dark situation. So it's gonna be hard to see these tornadoes out there. So if you get your signal on your phone or on your watch or on your radio or on your television, make sure that you take cover. This system is making its way towards the southeast. Baraboo, there you can see that uh, fresh sweep is coming closer to the Baraboo area. 
Yeah, and Kevin, um, I just, first, we have another look at the Wisconsin Dells area, this exact location that Kevin is talking about here. But we want to warn you, though, people sensitive to lights and flashes, a lot of lightning here. This is um, 9094 near Trout Road, near the Wisconsin Dells. Again, that lightning here, we also saw earlier the Columbia County cam. Maybe we can pull that one up as well um, by the Merrimack shoreline. A lot of lightning in the sky. This is really the area that Kevin is focusing in on for um, this tornado warning that is in effect right now. It was in effect right when we came at the top of the hour here at nine o'clock and we will continue to cut into your broadcast until this warning is over. Our number one goal here at NBC 15 is to keep you all safe. So even if you aren't in this area that we're showing you, this is why we are breaking into news coverage right now to keep everyone safe, to keep everyone informed and make sure people know what's going on when severe weather hits. Again, this view is just really magnificent to see. This is um, the Merrimack South Shore in Columbia County. You see that lightning just lighting up the sky. Again, you see some cars down there. Um, you don't want to be outside in this area. You want to go to your safe space. You want to go to that basement room. You got to get inside. Um, I know it's Friday night. It's 9 o'clock. It, it's time to come in. It's time to take this very seriously. We actually see the ferry pulling up um, right there. So hopefully you know they are tuned in to weather coverage they know what's going on and they will alert those people kind of waiting with their cars there you see that lightning in the sky though again that view we saw um, just before this in the Dells so um, we are we are monitoring all these spots and, and Kevin that that radar you're showing is just just really super super active right now very active. Elizabeth we have been watching particularly two different areas we've been watching the southern part of the state that's where we first saw a lot of the activity earlier starting uh, just after 6 30 to 7 o'clock this evening we saw the thunderstorms building up down there we also saw that line of thunderstorms coming in from the northwest now this was a separate line but because this atmosphere is so hot so much moisture and doesn't take a lot of instability to kick these thunderstorms off i want to show you this one in particular the one uh, that's part of the tornado warning this line extends all the way up here towards uh we're talking uh just towards um strong's Prairie, uh down towards new chester down towards the Dells, Baraboo, then over here towards Richland Center. Now, at the moment, we only have the warning for the tornado coming through the Dells. You can see it right here, where all that active, um, uh, all that active weather is. It includes Baraboo right now. It includes Portage right now. It includes the Dells right now. This goes on for till 945. Again, I want to show you what is happening here in terms of our our um, velocity tracker. This is showing where there is potential uh, turning in the atmosphere because of this. And again, we are looking down here towards the Baraboo area um, for any potential uh, tornado pushing through this area. I'm going to take a quick look and see what the National Weather Service is saying at the moment. Uh, they're looking at basically... Um, they're not expecting very much of weakening to be happening over the next hour or so with the storm. And that is going to be the other problem. It is not just the tornadoes. It is the hail. It is also the uh, very, very strong gusty winds in the area. Right now, those temperatures are coming down across the region. Today, we were up to about 90 degrees. Temperatures are coming down. We did have a question before. Will these temperatures and with a cloud cover stop the activity from continuing? Unfortunately, no. We saw um, even as those clouds started to drop those temperatures, those th uh, thunderstorms really began firing up across much of the area. All of our area right now is under a uh, severe thunderstorm watch. Now, let me explain watch as opposed to warning. When we put out a watch, that means that we have all the ingredients in the atmosphere that will be watching the atmosphere for anything to kick off. So we had the temperatures, we had the moisture, and we had the lifting. This goes uh, stays into effect until about 12 o'clock this evening. Then you have severe uh, thunderstorm warnings. What that means is 
we are now looking at a warning because a severe thunderstorm has been reported with hail or winds, or it has been reported by uh, radar. And when we're talking about tornadoes, basically the same thing. Uh, I'm going to toss it over towards Elizabeth for one second. Yeah, Kevin, I'm monitoring our Facebook feed. We are live on Facebook right now at NBC15. So if you're on there, please um, send us your questions, send us your concerns. I'm going to get them to Kevin. Kevin, we have a few good questions here that I want to address with you. Um, I think people are seeing this storm a little north of the metro area here in Madison. They're wondering, Caitlin is wondering if this could move or weaken if it moves south. So can you, you know, predict how the storm is going to move and, and the strength of it as you're seeing on the radar. Is there any indication of that when you're, when you're tracking these storms? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's very interesting. When you look from here in Madison and you look out in the distance and you see this lightning, that lightning could be in a whole different county. And that's exactly what they're seeing right now. These thunderstorms are anywhere between 40,000, 50,000, and 55,000 feet tall out in the distance. This particular storm right here that we're talking about, I'm gonna put that line to it. This is it right there. That continues to make its way towards the Southeast. What Madison, what Northern Dane County could be seeing with this, well, not necessarily the tornado warning, but we do have a severe thunderstorm warning that is just to the Northwest part of Dane County. You can see that yellow right there. That could continue to push into Dane County as this progresses. What happens with uh, warnings is that they put them out for a period of time, then they adjust it and they'll push it forward if they need to. These lines look like they're pretty much holding together. We're gonna to be watching this very carefully. As you can see, uh, the, um, the line that's going through right now, uh, parts of Sauk and Columbia County, that is a very well-defined line pushing in the area. I wanna go a little bit closer in. Um, and real quick, you can see Portage, Partyville. Um, Partyville is on the outside of it, but Fort Winnebago, Lewiston, you are all still under that tornado warning. Any more questions, Elizabeth? Yes, um, a great one from Terry. Terry lives in Lake Delton. They're wondering if they still need to be in their safe place right now, Kevin. Lake Delton. Yes, right by the Dells, that area there. Absolutely. We have the tornado warning until 945. Uh, for the most part, we're still looking at that area of severe weather, the most intense severe weather, still in the middle of the um, still in the middle of the uh, warning. I want to stop this and go forward with this real quick so you can see exactly what we're talking about. We're going to stop the motion of this. And here is exactly where we're talking about. Uh, we are looking at right there. This is anywhere from Fairfield to Baraboo. This is the most intense part of the storm at the moment. And it's moving quite quickly, but we're still, you know, anything on the north side to the uh, southwest side is still going to be possibility of winds or hail, at least for the next half an hour. Yeah, Kevin, I'm monitoring these um, Facebook posts. We have a few questions, but a lot of people just commenting what they're seeing, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. Um, I just start, um, Merrily said started seeing lightning and occasional thunder in Middleton, so more of the metro area there. Um, someone else has been saying that um, the wind has died down. Mike said the wind has died down in the Dells, just rain and some thunder. Um, so tornado sirens are, are going off as well, so um, just kind of a lot going on. We saw that it was just downpouring on the state line as well. So just so many different weather makers that downpour maybe has to do with um, that flash flood warning that you were talking about as well. A bunch of different weather makers just consuming our area right now as we track. And again, we want you to send us your videos and pictures when it is safe. This is a great way if you jump on our Facebook to, to just write to us. Let us know what we're seeing. You are our eyes and ears, um, you know, down on the ground as we are monitoring these storms with our technology here at the station. I'm also monitoring power outages and really um, good news on that front, at least as far as, um, you know, the reporting system is going. I am on Alliant Energy Center here and um, really the only outages that I'm seeing are, are, I think, potentially from storms that we were seeing earlier tonight um, near Platteville. Um, those outages are expected, actually were expected to be restored four minutes ago. So I'll keep checking on that. But again, if you are experiencing 
experiencing any outages in your area. These strong winds we're talking about, um, the hail. Make sure you report those outages to your power company. I've done stories with power companies in the past, kind of preparing for events like this, and they say don't assume that your neighbors have called in these reports. You make those calls, you get online and, um, and you know, report them. The more reports that they have in an area, the sooner they will get to you. I'm just being told by my producer, Haley, that we have some video. Again, these might be jarring for people um, who are sensitive to flash and lights, but this is a lightning here reported. Wisconsin Dells, Lisa, thank you so much for sending this in from your uh, a safe place here. The sky is just, just just really lit up by this lightning. And, and we saw it on the radar earlier. Kevin actually had to pull the lightning off so we could see where these storms were tracking because the skies are just lit up throughout the area as this storm comes through. Of course, we've been seeing heat throughout, um, you know, the days before here, pulling in that energy and now, you know, storms tonight. So we got to get through a lot um, before we, you know, we get on the other end here. We were talking about good weather for the weekend. We're not over yet with these storms, and we are here with your first alert forecast to keep you up to date, Kevin. That's right, Elizabeth. And I'm taking a look at what's happening right now. We've been watching that big line coming through the Dells and then down towards uh, Richland Center. But now coming into northwestern part of Dane County, if you look out towards the west or the north or the northwest, you're definitely going to be seeing some lightning coming through. Now, we did see, hear that from that uh, viewer in Middleton. Take a look at Dane County at the moment. I want to get rid of this... Uh, there we go. I want to get rid of this banner so that we have more room. There we are looking at Wanakee. You can see thunderstorms are just towards your west. Um, Mount Horeb, same thing. Down south of Fitchburg, down towards Belleville, we got some activity going on right there. I'll switch on the lighting right now to see uh, what kind of activity. Yes, we do have some uh, uh, convective activity with some thunderstorms there. But if you look out towards Dodgeville, it is very active there. We're not talking about any warnings in place for Dodgeville, but still, these thunderstorms have already proven that they have lots of lightning, they have lots of hail, they have some very gusty winds, and they have a lot of rain underneath. I want to go just to the south of Dodgeville, uh, including Mineral Point, and also into um, this area where earlier we saw a tornado warning push through massive thunderstorms making their way through. And what you'll notice is that green line around this area, let me just point that out for you. This green line that comes around just about here, um, actually probably be better with this, and you can see then making its way down here and over. This is now a flash flood warning for this area. We're talking about Greene County, Iowa County, as well as Lafayette County that is in this flash flood area. And they have already seen one to two inches of rain already. Now you can see there is more uh, convective activity coming into that area. That is going to add another inch to another two inches. Some of the locations that will experience flash flooding include, this is from the National Weather Service, Mineral Point, Darlington, Belmont, Benton, Argyle, Linden, New Diggings, South Wales, Waldick, Elk Grove, Fayette, Lamont, uh, Brownton, Brown, Brownton, excuse me, um, Cal, uh, Yellowstone Lake um, as well, and Lead Mines. So this is all going to be an area where not just thunderstorms have been the problem. Now we're going to be dealing with flash flooding in this area. Of course, you know better where your low areas are. That's where it's going to be most susceptible um, in your neighborhoods or in your communities. Just be very careful because we still have these, uh, these thunderstorms out here towards the north that we are going to be dealing with as they push through. This is going to be adding another inch to an inch and a half of rain across this area. All right, I'm going to pull back again. Let's take a look what's happening up towards where we are looking at that uh, tornado warning still. And you can still see still in effect, uh, made its way towards Portage. The heaviest line is now coming towards the edge of the um, tornado warning on that west, excuse me, that eastern side. Baraboo, still very active weather where you are. Does look like Reedsburg has improved. Loganville has improved. The Dells is uh, going to start to improve very, very soon. 
but we're also looking just to the north of that Douglas, Buffalo, um, just outside of our area. Very active weather for them as well. Whether or not this is going to be extended, right now this goes till 745. I do think we could possibly see some of this extended as a tornado warning over here towards Partyville, as well as uh, Poignette. Rio could be seeing it as well. Um, we'll have to be watching, but right now, those particular areas are under severe thunderstorm warnings, and they last right now up until, let me just give you the timing on that, they last until uh, 10 to 15 this evening with hail uh, possibly up to one inch, as well as wind speeds anywhere between 60 and 70 miles an hour. That includes Columbia, Dodge, Fond du Lac, and Green Lake counties there. All right, I want to take you back to the full picture, show you what's going on before we head right back to, towards Elizabeth. And you can see we have a lot of activity out there all the way from, gosh, Green Bay, all the way down towards the southwest and over towards the southern part of Milwaukee. Elizabeth? Yes, um, Kevin, we are getting some more video here, but before we get to that video, it's a lot of lightning, just like you were talking about. Really, if you are sensitive to flashing lights, um, things like that, you might want to look away from your screen when we show these videos because this lightning is just so, so impressive tonight. But we're going to get some video on your screen just south of Boscobel um, near Fenimore. There's the video there that we're getting from our, our viewers. Um, again, just so much light in the sky. Um, Trenton, thank you so much for sending this. Again, if you are going to be sending us videos, please don't forget that your safety is number one here. You hear that wind too in that video, in this video, and you actually can see kind of some of the leaves going back and forth. And, um, you know, a lot of people are writing in on our Facebook page, um, you know, wondering about um, the storms and, and the tracking of it. Kevin's breaking all of that down for us. Um, someone though, Kevin, I, I did want to ask you because I haven't heard anything um, someone was saying just on the scanner they were hearing of possible tornado activity in the Reedsburg area. I know you just mentioned that the storms have moved past Reedsburg, right. but we don't have any reports of that from, from the Weather um, Center or, or anything like that just yet. No, we're not seeing anything from the National Weather Service on Reedsburg, uh, but some good news is the tornado warning that was going through parts of Baraboo, that has now been canceled. Um, so it was supposed to, be, supposed to be going till 745. We do not know no longer have a tornado warning in effect, but that same area is still under a severe thunderstorm warning. We're going to be watching this area very carefully. These pop up very quickly, and um, we could be seeing more tornado warnings issued. We still have a lot of activity that is going on in that area. So we'll keep you informed through the rest of the evening. Uh, we're looking uh, at 927 at the moment. These uh, warnings still go on all the way through the rest of the evening. Yeah, um, you know, all tonight, this is our second time breaking in um, to coverage to, you know, give you the updates on the weather. Earlier today, we were seeing some really, really impressive hail video. I'm wondering if we could get that pulled up here in the, in the next uh, minute or so. That hail was really coming out of the Platteville area um, over there where Kevin was talking about, you know, the, the flood warnings now. Really, hail, I forgot to mention earlier, not only will it damage hail this size, not only will it damage, you know, your car, your roof. We're thinking about the farmers, too. This hail was coming down in a really rural area, and you're thinking about the farmers, their crops. It's growing season here. Look at that two and a half inches um, and, and there are two so so just um, we're here to keep you safe get inside if you hear those sirens and um, we'll keep you covered here again though those tornado warnings have expired good news for our area but things could pop up and hey we will be here to keep you covered